Hello guys, Turbo Veltrick here, back from another video, and today we have another Beyblade Burst Turbo Bay Review. Today we have Hazard Kirby SK4-7 Atomic S. So this is a slingshot starter, and we will be reviewing it today. And so it has the um, Hazard Kirby S Layer 7 and Atomic, like I just said, Tom Atomic S, and then Launcher. Here is the back of it, with all the stats. Um, one for attack, one for burst, 11 for defense, 6 for weight, 2 for agility, and 2 for stamina. And then here is the slingshot, slingshot stats, slingshot stats, and yeah, so let's open it up. So here we have everything that, we, that comes in the Kirby starter pack. Here we have the launcher, which really isn't enough, and you just put it in like that, and then just launch Kirby We have the energy layer, which is really nice. It has, um arrows all over it you can add this um springs in here where to change you can just push them in here you have the QR, qr code if you want to scan it into the beyblade burst app and you got, also has the three um dog heads for um Corbeus's avatar and yeah so we have the seven disc it has all the seven contact points it's nothing too special you just put that in and here we have atomic s which has this free spinning ball in here so to put it in slingshot mode, you just turn it, lift it up, and then turn it again. And here you have it, um, slingshot mode. And it's just reversed out to get it into battle ring mode. And yeah. So let's assemble a Kerbeus. Yeah, that's right. And here we have Kerbeus. Slips ain't too bad. Um, the slips on the chalice are way better. But, um, yeah, so... Let's get in, get a test spin for for Kerbeus. So to start off, I will be putting um Kerbeus in battle ring mode. So yeah, so three, two, one. Let's go. It is a little bit noisy, but it's doing pretty good. So all right. So now we're gonna put it in slingshock mode all right so now it's in slingshock mode three two one letter now today it's starting to ride the road and yeah so now let's get into some test battles so for our first um battle, we are going to put Kerbeus up against another wave three slingshock bay breaker excalius x4 one dash sword so yeah so let's get into this battle so three two one let it rip so attack versus defense and her base wins if a um survivor finish now let's do another battle see if we can get a burst See if Kerbeus can burst Excalius. So we did get another um, survivor finish with Kerbeus. So Kerbeus wins that one. So let's get into the next battle. So for the next battle, we'll be doing Luonor L3, uh, left, not Luonor L3, Brutal Luonor L4, and um. Slingshock mode and it is another attack type, but this time another spin, and we'll be putting Kerbeus in um, slingshock mode also. So let me get the model launchers. Three, two, one, let it rip. So that one looked like it was a draw. It kind of looked like it was Luminar. But then yet again, it kind of looked like it was Kerbeus. But uh, let's see. No move. It didn't move. It didn't move on any of the base. So let's try it again in the second round. It's three, two, one, let it So Kerbeus is taking the center. That time it goes to Kerbeus. And yeah. So let's get into one more battle. So for the final match, we have um, Kerbeus up against Emperor Fornius F4, another defense type. 
I'm gonna put do one battle in um slingshot and then another battle in um battle ring mode. So we're gonna start off with battle ring mode. And yeah, let's see how defense goes. Defense versus defense. Three, two, one, let it go. That one goes to Curbeus with the survivor finish. He didn't really do much. He didn't get it close to bursting. But anyways, so let's do the second round in slingshot. So now we have both bays in um slingshot mode. So three, two, one, let it go. So um Ponyus, I don't know if Ponyus ended up bursting. I don't know if I'm going to count that as a burst or am I going to count it. Well, it did get caught in the um, pocket of the um, stadium. So, and, but it did not stop spinning until it's um, bursted. So I think I'm just going to go this for have this go for Kripea since um, three to two. I mean, yeah, three to zero actually. So yeah, that one goes to um, Kripea, and yeah. So that's going to have to end it for um, the Kripea review. This is actually a very good bay. It's got a nice, this has some pretty decent slopes. It's not as great as Achilles, I don't think. After comparing it to my Z, Achilles A4, 11 Extend, it wasn't that great. But I guess it's got some decent slopes. Um, it, does, it is a starter pack, so it does come with launcher, but that's really not a big deal to launchers. Like, you, you need the launcher to get into the battle unless you're going to hand spin it. But it is not a bad bay. I really like it. It does have this nice um, part where it has springs in here where it can um, deflect, uh, like kind of deflect your um, the enemy's um, attacks. But yeah, that's what I have to end it for this review. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like, please subscribe, please follow me on social media, which links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.